breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Minorities in Nigeria were greatest victims of Biafra. US based Professor Akwan. Minorities in Nigeria were greatest victims of Biafra. US based Professor Akwan. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. New York Times best selling author and professor of creative writing at the University of Florida, Uwem Akman as described the ill-fated Biafra Republic declared by late Colonel Lodumegu Jukul in 1967 as the greatest evil that besets the minorities of Niger Delta. Biafra Officially, the Republic of Biafra was a partially recognized secessionist state in West Africa that declared independence from Nigeria and existed from 1967 to until 1970. Its territory consisted of the predominantly Igbo populated, then eastern region of Nigeria which is now divided into the southeast and south south regions of Nigeria. Biafra was established on 30th May 1967 by Ojuku under his leadership as the governor of the then eastern region of Nigeria. Following a series of ethnic tensions, and military coups after Nigerian independence in 1960 that culminated in the 1966 massacres of Igbo people and other Eastern ethnic groups living in northern Nigeria. The military of Nigeria proceeded to invade Biafra shortly after its secession resulting in the start of the Nigerian Civil War. During an interview with Rudolf Okonkwo in 19 Minute Africa, Professor Lachman argued that the Biafra narrative shaped by most Igbo's writers over time was one-sided because it painted the Igbo's as innocent victims of the civil war. He insisted that the minorities were the biggest victims of the crisis as they suffered the bond, the brunt from both Nigeria and Biafra. In the riots that engulfed the North, at least a third of those killed were minorities. No one tells that story. It is always the Igbos who were killed in the north. The question now is, if both the Igbos and minorities were killed in the north, why were they not able to come back and form Biafra together? This is simply because even before the genocide in the north, the Idos and the minorities were never together. Though they were all in the eastern region, the minorities always feel cheated, Professor Lakpan retreated. The award-winning author further stated that the minorities did not want Biafra. The Idos under Ojuku went out of their way to block the creation of minority state. 
they imposed Biafran on minorities. The Igbos were those engaged in two wars, fighting against big-time Nigerians and fighting against small-time minorities. The minorities were massacred by the Biafrans. A place in San Bamal in Ijoland, even as a festival celebrating the fact that they survived the Biafra, and there are few other places like that in minority lands. When the interviewer drew the attention of the professor to the fact that some minorities supported the Biafra Republic, he acknowledged that there would always be individuals within the colonized who are served and are part of any colonization project. Today, almost all Igbo say they want Biafra, but have you heard? The minority say they want Biafra. You can mention individuals in the minority who would support Biafra, but there is no grand swell of support like you have in Igbo land. The minorities have not forgotten how they were massacred in Biafra. The Western press did not cover the minority villages. In any case, there was some sort of understanding that if the Western press exposed what the Biafran soldiers were doing, Biafra would lose the little support it had, he said. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.